Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to our channel. I'm Jacob and I'm Nick and we are going to get back into another episode of My Hero Academia. Ooh, and boy, last episode. Um <laughs> it was very very crazy. So first of all, uh we got a little sneak peek into what Deku was uh, uh feeling inside of him uh, inside of One for All and we got to actually talk with the past users. This is like the first time we've actually gotten to uh sit around and actually talk to all of them uh besides you know the the two that were kind of in the back facing the wall which i'm still not exactly sure what that's about but i just know like maybe they don't uh, recognize deku as like worthy or whatever or they just don't like him for some reason or they don't trust him i don't know what i don't know what it is but um other than them uh, all the rest of them seem to be supportive and actually told him about one for all's big secret in that uh about really about the fourth user in his death because apparently if somebody w already with a quirk inherits one for all one for all kind of stacks on top of that quirk and it's not their body can't really handle it so i guess they age really fast and they die around 40 ish which is ha what happened to the fourth user but because all my and deku never had a quirk uh they shouldn't ha they shouldn't have that problem so uh he should be all right but for now anyways but that does mean that he's most likely going to be the last user of One for All, because as time and time goes on, you're never going to find, or it's going to be almost impossible to find someone else who is quirkless in the next generation. So, who is actually, you know, worthy, and who Deku actually thinks is worthy of it. Um, but yeah, man, it, it's very crazy. So Deku's most likely the last One for All user, which means he has to be the one to defeat Shigaraki in All for One, um, once and for all. So, yeah, man, that, that, that's kind of crazy. But we also got to see a lot of people now know about One for All. Not just the name. Because Deku told all of 1A, and All Might told um, Hawks and Best Genist. And I'm not, I'm not quite sure if he told Endeavor or not, but uh, I would assume he probably did if he told those two. Um, but at the very least, anyways, like, a lot of people know the secret. Um... Which, of course, is why Deku left. Because he's thinking, now that everybody, you know, everybody in quotes, but it's it's really just like, you know, the villains, uh, Shigaraki all for one, of course, they're going to go after Deku. They're going to try to steal it, which means putting 1A and everyone around him in harm's way. So he just made the choice. I'm just going to go rogue. I'm going to go on my own so that I can't, uh, get anybody hurt with my actions and it's all on me so now i'm wondering if one a is maybe gonna be like no we don't accept that dude we're gonna go with you we're gonna try to find him and try to stick with him because of course they're friends um so i'm wondering if that's what they're gonna do and um I'm, i don't think deku's really gonna like it but i don't know man i'm really excited to see how this turns out yeah, man, you know, last episode was really hectic. A lot of people starting to question the heroes and, and um, you know, uh, the media conferences. And they kept it very real. And the people didn't really like that. So, you know, um, now there's a lot of controversy going on. A lot of, you know, distrust with the citizens and the heroes. And, yeah, so it's not looking great for them. But in terms of the one, one for all, you know, being spread... Uh, about to you know their friends um you know i think it's also it's kind of interesting to see how far the story has come from the first episode when he got or not the first episode but when he got the quirk of one for all and then all might's like you can't tell anybody now six seasons later now he's pretty much told his whole class and uh and all might told a few of his closest colleagues with the hero uh heroes and um i just think it's interesting like how far we've come from that um but also with deku how far deku now has come from being the crybaby back in season one to now being this being this character now that just goes rogue and now it's probably not going to be like the same deku now um compared to a couple seasons or compared to the rest of of my hero like this is gonna be a totally different Deku, so I'm really excited to see what that entails, and I can't, I just can't wait to see what uh, this episode has in store for us. 
Yeah, that's right, guys. And if you guys want to see the rest of My Hero Academia reactions from us, then make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button and that notification bell to be notified when we release more videos. And make sure to check out all the links below for our social medias and drop a comment for anything you guys are thinking about. You know, we love to uh, read and engage with you guys. If you have any questions or any comments uh, about this episode or the season, uh, we would love to see them. So let us know down below. And without further ado, let's get into My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 19. I mean, I understand why he left. Because, like, he would feel responsible if any of them got hurt. Yeah. Because they're after him. Yeah. A rogue Deku. You know, one thing that I think was really kind of overlooked, which was like a really nice detail that they threw in, was the narrator of the story is usually Deku, right? However, now that Deku has gone off of his own and he's, you know, rogue, I like the little detail how they switched that narrator role to uh, Ochako. Yeah. Oh, um, 1B. Oh. No, that's not 1B. It's, uh, it's the people from the oh, Heroes they're one Zen. school. Yeah. Yeah. But they're, but they're from a school, too. Not 1B. I'm sorry. Grand. Turtleneck. Oh, yeah. They set up hero, like, protection zones, but people aren't going to want to move from their homes. Exactly. I mean, I understand what they're saying. But he's also not wrong, too, that they're more proficient at fighting. Yeah. So it goes both ways. Oh, what? Who's here? Oh, no. Um, Is it someone from the Paranormal Liberation Front? Oh, it's muscular! Oh, dude, I just thought, what if what if we get a rematch? Deku versus mu muscular? Well, we saw what happened last time. Yeah, and Deku's even stronger now with multiple quirks, so... <laughs> right, yeah, I don't think it's fair. Definitely looks a lot different. Right. Yeah, these guys would not last against muscular, though. Oh and... no, he just got yeah. one tapped. Oh, that's not going to do much against him. Oh, true. Ooh, I don't know though, that's probably not enough. Nah, come on, Deku. Is uh, oh. yeah. Ooh, there he is. Dang. All right, rematch time. Dude, he looks sick. Yo, he yeah, he looks really cool, bro. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah, the bloodlust. He just wants the thrill. What? What is that, like, pink gas? Why is he concealing himself? Right, the entrance exam. Mm -hmm. Or not the entrance exam, the, uh, the hero license exam. Yeah. Oh, is that... Did he get another quirk? Oh, he did. Okay. Oh, it's... That, um, that's it's, what it is. Is it smokescreen? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Right, because it isn't like any time he learns a quirk, it kind of goes overboard. So right. it's probably like a lot right now. Also, it's really cool that he can just like talk to them now. True. Yeah, and also it was really cool. That it was reflected in the smoke. That was really mm -hmm. cool. Oh. Uh. Yo, float is gotta be one of the most broken that he has. <laughs> I'm thinking the danger sense, dude. True. That's kind of broken. But dude, like people like this guy don't stand a chance. Like. Because he can just fly, he can float. Muscular can't can't fly. Bro, dude, Deku looks sick, bro. Dude, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, dude. I wonder if his body can even take, like, a 100% punch now. Because he was up to, like, 40% once, right? Oh. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. 45. Okay, still not 100%, but... Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yo, that this man was... doesn't even need 100% now to defeat him. Yo, that was clean, bro. That, 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 that scene was clean. <laughs> Boomerang, man. Boomerang man. <laughs> Mr. Smith. They, is it just me or the guy looks like a younger Aizawa? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Does he know he's Deku? Yeah! Yeah. Dude. <laughs> yo, yo, Deku's just broken, bro, now. Ah. And he's doing it without revealing his identity, too. Smart. Yo, All Might rolling up with a Batmobile? Yo, the United States coming in clutch. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Those are kind of like the, um... If you've seen the first My Hero movie, I believe... That's what, like, Melissa gave him. Something similar to that, anyways. Oh. Right. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, you know what? I'm wondering, did they tell his mom? I mean, to be fair, she I feel like she has a right to know. <laughs> if 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 one A students know, I feel like she should know too. Yeah. That's very fair. You'll be hunted. It's very fair. Yeah, uh, dude, I, I completely forgot. Like, it's going to be a 1v2. Yeah. Because he has to face the original All for One and Shigaraki, who, you know, is being controlled by All for One, but there's two of them. Right. Not to mention the Nomu and the villains that were broke out of prison. Uh. Also, is it just me or does Deku actually like look like season one Deku? If that makes sense. Like it's like the animated animation. A little bit, yeah. Like I could just, because his hair is like highlighted darker more if you if you know what i mean mm -hmm. all might the goat yeah all might is the goat he's got a new suit yeah <laughs> i thought it was a hair clip <laughs> yeah <laughs> everything best genus does is just so cool. Oh yeah, and he, uh, he told Gran Torino about what uh, Nana said. And this is Gran oh, Torino giving him that. Oh, okay. That's how he got it. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Dude, look at Deku, dude. Working with the big leagues. The top three. Bro. Wow, man, dude, this was a great episode. And of course, now the new Deku looks drippy. His his uh, his hero suit looks really cool. Um, also, the animation of this episode was top notch. By the way, just thought I'd also say that. Um, muscular, bro. He just gets one tapped. Lou just got rocked. He he got destroyed. Forty five percent. That's crazy to think about because Deku like barely defeated him before and now he just one tapped him like it was nothing. So mm -hmm. dang. So Deku got a lot stronger ever ever since that uh that encounter. So that's actually really cool to see um that kind of comparison. But yeah, man, Deku going rogue. Deku's working with the best heroes, with Endeavor, best genus, with Hawks and All Might. And now and now he's gonna start hunting down these uh these villains. And, uh, you know, started putting them away because, you know, like uh, Hawks was saying, you know, we can't just let them come to us. We have to go to them. We have to attack first, um, you know, because if they corner us, then, yeah, it's game over. So, but yeah, man, this episode was really good. And um, I just, man, the animation of this episode was just top notch. So that, that was just really good in my opinion. But yeah, man, just also as well hearing... His mom, like, figure all that out is just, it's kind of sad, but also much needed because you don't want her to be left in the dark. That's literally his mom. So, you know, definitely a hard moment for them to tell her. Um, and now, now Deku's not in UA anymore. So, yeah, that's kind of weird to say, but <laughs> he's not in UA. But now he's by himself with the top heroes and now about to hunt these villains down. Does anybody want to explain to me why the episodes just feel like they're getting shorter and shorter? Because <laughs> I, I kid you not, this episode felt five minutes long. Uh, <laughs> to me, at least. Um, but, you know, time flies when you're having fun. But, yeah, man, it was a really good episode. I, I thought Deku has come a long way since season one. Uh, you know, not just him, but his costume too, you know. His costume's come a long way since the, uh, that ugly lime green tracksuit that we used to have. So, <laughs> but, but now it actually looks so fire with the changes that he made. 
um, you know, the scarf, uh, no, not really a scarf, but it's, you know, just like the tatters of what used to be, um, Gran Torino's costume, and, uh, you know, the, the mask, too, with the, the back shredded and his hair just hanging out, as I like that, too, that's really sick, but, yeah, man, he has changed a lot, and a lot of things about this show have changed, too, um, probably the main thing in this episode would be the people that know about One for All now, and, I feel like the explanation for his mom, I feel like that was way overdue. I feel like it is his mom, man. Like, I, I get not maybe not telling her at first because, you know, this huge secret that uh, and if, like, the wrong people find out, it could literally just, like, cause mayhem. But, like, I feel like they should have told her earlier, too. Maybe after, like, the whole all-for-one thing, after the, the doctor first said, if you use it again, you're gonna, you know, you're never gonna use your arms again. Like, maybe, maybe that. But... It was nice to have her find out, and uh, I'm glad that she was able to find out. But yeah, man, Deku, um... Oh, he, right, uh, he got a new quirk! Smokescreen! Um, which was nice to see, but, uh, so what's that bring our counter up to? We got, um, Black Whip, we got Float, Danger Sense, and Smokescreen. So he's got four quirks right now, um, besides the overall, you know, like, power of one for all that makes, you know, super strength. Besides that, he's just got four quirks. Uh, how many are supposed to be left? So there's nine users, two of them don't have quirks. And one of them is just, you know, the original, which is the old one for all power. So that would make six. So he has two more quirks, which are probably the two that face their back to Deku, that don't want to work with him, or don't accept him, or, you know, whatever. So, I guess he, or maybe some of the other users, has got to try to convince them. And maybe we'll get to that next episode, I don't know, that could be very interesting. But, as for this episode, it was very good. I loved it a lot. Like you said, the animation just seemed to, like, go hard. It, I mean, it has this entire season, let's be honest. But, um... The, this episode it just looked phenomenal and uh, i can't wait to see where this is going uh and to see what path my hero is going to take us on next that is right guys man and it's getting really spicy in my hero academia but if you guys want to see our future reactions to my hero academia season six part two then make sure you guys as always hit the like button and the subscribe button and also click on the noti on the notification bell to be notified you know when we release these videos we release them every week so just be on the lookout for that and uh and yeah as always guys if you guys don't have it already click the link down description down below of all of our socials and give them a follow and also comment down below what was your favorite part about this episode and yeah man this was a great episode i just can't wait for next week so we will see you guys in the next episode peace Thank you.